Hi Cancer, I'm an energy worker and I'm here to bring you a 10 day forecast. So it's an immediate 10 day forecast. All right, um, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. Um, it may only fit with a few of you. Cancer, let's see what's coming out here for the next 10 days for a group of Cancers who are really needing this message spirit. We ask you for, um, we ask you for a 10 day forecast for a group of, of Cancers who are really needing a message from you right now. Four of Rods, Ten of Pentacles, wow, Cancer. So Cancer, I see you here in this reading. I see you here in this story. And you're in this place, in this emotional place of, of having some real discontentment with some, with something. All right. Ha wanting to have a sense of freedom here. You're wanting a sense of freedom. Whether you are a female or a male, you are taking action now, right? So you're showing up as a King of Cups. You're showing up as a King of Cups, whether you are a male or a female, you are taking action in your life. And there's some kind of decision that you're going to be making in the next 10 days that will bring you a sense of freedom and will be, bring you a sense of individuality. Because for some reason, Cancer, you're feeling like there is something that you're experiencing that it is leaving a sense of distaste in your mouth right? The flavor is not a good flavor for you. It doesn't taste good to you. It's not the type of food that you like to eat, right? It's not your genre. Something about this experience is not, is not bringing you happiness, but also there's something about this experience that has kept you trapped. It has kept you in a weakened place. All right. So you're not really being able to see how to move out of this situation. You're, you're not seeing how to move out of it and you're feeling like you perhaps can't move out of it, but you, you, you are knowing that it's not something about it doesn't feel right to you. Something about it doesn't feel right to you. Whether if, if it's keeping you in, in a frame of mind, that's um, a lack perspective, whether it's keeping you at a place of employment that is, um, not in your own best interest, nor in, in your highest potential. Um, whatever this is, it, there is something that's going to be happening in the next short time period that will give you a, a greater sense of freedom, a greater sense of strength. This is about you taking the initiative here, <clears throat> looking at your life, <clears throat> looking at your life cancer and, and deciding to bring it about a change in your life. Right. This is to bring about a change. We have um, you looking directly at what it is that you wish to see. You're looking for a strong commitment, a strong romantic commitment. You're looking for the Ten of Pentacles, which is abundance. You know what you're looking for. Right. You're looking at it. Right. You could even be looking at your own romantic relation, your own romantic relationship. Right. You could be looking at your commitments that you have and the family that you have or the arrangements that you have or the home life that you have, right? There's something here that it's something, something needs to be corrected. Something needs to be fixed. Something needs to be revised. And I'm not saying there's going to be any breakup here, or there's going to be, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you're going to leave a job or that, you know, I'm just saying that you're, you're realizing in the next 10 days or so that there are some changes that need to be made in your life. There are some things that you need to change to bring in uh, a new sense of happiness, a new sense of joy, a new sense of security into your life. And you're looking at what would bring you those things, what would bring you happiness, what would bring you fulfillment. And that for many of you is um, a, a, a beautiful family structure and security and financial freedom, right? You're looking to make a change somehow with the final judgment card. Right. You're, you're looking at wanting to make a change or you're looking at what you need to bring change into this. And it could be that there needs to be a fresh perspective of love. There could need to be new love that comes in or there could be need to be a rekindling of love. Whatever this is, it has to do with love and it has to do with some type of new love or a revitalization of love or a rekindling of love. You could be feeling in your relationship. Um, you could be feeling like there's you could be feeling lackluster. 
You could be feeling like there needs to be more fire or there needs to be more passion or sensuality or whatever it is that your soul is crying for. We see that you're looking here and deciding how should you move forward in the future. It's almost like you sense cancer that in order to, in order to, to fulfill your dreams and goals, there will need to be changes here. There will need to be changes in your life. If you are to attain the goals that you've always carried within yourself, the dreams and wishes that you've always carried in your pockets, right? Or up in your hat or in your purse, wherever you carry your dreams and wishes, probably mostly in your heart, right? There is acknowledgement here by you that there may be some alter, there may be some, um, some, some revisions that need to take place in your own current experience so that you can engage with, um, stability, that you can engage with long-term potential, long-term abundance. Um, this is a calling for the need for you also though, to have patience, to have understanding for yourself. To understand that when we start to make these realizations in our lives, that um, it can take time, that these things, these kinds of decisions and these kinds of revisions um, need careful thought. They need to be um, decided when one is as aligned as possible so that you are connected with your spiritual team and with source energy, connected in with your religious structure and and feeling very aligned and centered and at peace when you make decisions to revise, right? Because we see here some kind of deliberation taking place. And this deliberation could, could be about some kind of a job that you have, some kind of an occupation here. It could be about your, your education program. It could be about your marriage. It could be about changing your belief system or changing your religious structure. Something here revolving around the higher font, which is the card of faith, the card of spirituality, the card of an energy of a group of people that all move in the same direction with the same like-mindedness. So this could be university, it could be a church setting, it could be a, a large corporation. Um, this again, this is about the mindset of a group of people, right? And leadership of a few. So, so again, this is probably for, for some of you about a commitment that you have with someone. Um, for others of you, this is about a job. This is about a belief system. However, this fits in. There is some kind of deliberation here about the higher font card, right? And there is a need here to have patience and understanding as we start to bring in long-term stability into our lives. And you're doing that it's again as a King of Pentacles. So in both of the energies I feel here for you, Cancer, whether you're female or male, you're in a masculine energy, you're taking action, right? You're not sitting back anymore. The Eight of Swords is when you sit back and you wait, right? And we don't see the hangman here. We don't see that. Um, so, so we see you taking action now. You're starting to take action in the next 10 days to really deliberate and think about in, in this sense, the word deliberate and think about and consider for you are taking action. Okay. Because in the past you may not have been in this place. So for you thinking these thoughts and, and having these considerations for you and for your energy, it will feel like it's taking action and it will be a sort of taking action. Even though you're not implementing anything, you're having the thoughts now. You're taking the time to think about these things. And you might be even speaking it out loud to a friend or to a spouse or to a parent. And when we start to think about things and we start to say things out loud, that gets the momentum going and that is taking action. So while we don't see a whole lot of feminine energy here, we do see powerful masculine energy, which makes me feel very heartened that there is action now taking place, right? There is steps, move, there are steps being taken in one way or another to get the um, momentum started in whatever is bringing you this sense of dissatisfaction to start engaging with that, to start digging into that and really to trying to determine what is bringing this dissatisfaction to you. What is bringing it? What is it? What's causing it? And how to overcome it. And these, these are the thoughts that you're having in the next 10 days. Now, 10 days can go by really fast. All right. So this is not a very long period of time. We do see you though. These three cards came out at the end and I couldn't put them back. They definitely came out. You saw them come out and we see the, the chariot energy, which is your energy cancer. This is you getting your footing back again. This is you really having clarity about 
how you can maybe move forward better in the future and moving forward then and starting to take action. This is because you have really came to a place of silence. You came in from the situation and you really took some time to reflect on it. You prayed about it. You meditated about it. You rested. You, you found some energy again. You revitalized yourself again. And this resting and recovery has brought a sense of clarity that will bring you into a place of peace and tranquility. Um, there will be um, some kind of movement here. There will be some kind of change coming in um, with the Six of Swords. This is um, moving on to a different understanding or a different place. You could decide, you could be deciding that you're going to be moving. You could be deciding that you're going to um, take on a new perspective about something. The, the swords are mentality, they're, they're thoughts. They could be decisions that you're making. They could be, um, strategies that you're, that you're creating for yourself. But there is thought here with the six of swords. There's contemplation. There is consideration. Right. There is a lot of thought going into how to create a new and more peaceful future. And we see you moving in that direction. So at the end of the 10 day period, you're in a really good place to start to continue to move forward um, into whatever kind of revisions that you're going to be making in your life. All right, Cancer. So um, let's see here. I do kind of want to go into this Hierophant card because it's the Hierophant card is is wrapped around. It's in the same row. So it's wrapped around or wrapped within the Eight of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Three of Swords. So something with this Hierophant card. And why is the Hierophant card here? Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? Yeah, the Seven of Swords and the Empress. We also have the Tower flipped over. So there could have been something that happened too as well for some of you. Could have been something that happened. Yeah, this is you making some kind of revision in your life. You could have had, you could be feeling like someone's taking something from you. You could be feeling like someone's lying to you, that someone's not being honest with you. You could be feeling like you just need to revise something in your life and move into, into a more peaceful place in your life. Seven of Swords could, could mean you making self-protective revisions. So maybe you are changing to, a, want to change to a different job and you um, are able to take with you um, capabilities and skills that you have. And there might be some that you don't want to do anymore that you're tired of doing that do not inspire anymore. And you can leave those tasks behind. You know, Seven of Swords can be a lot of different energies, but there's something, there's definitely a revision here. There's definitely a change coming in. And that change is, is taking place because of something that happened. So there was something that caused the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords doesn't happen just by itself. Something has to cause it. Some kind of lie, some kind of betrayal, some kind of discomfort. Something has to cause the Seven of Swords. This is a desire to move into a place where you feel much more powerful about your own life, where you can act in a much more authentic way about yourself. And there's a part of you that really wants to nourish, that wants to guide, that wants to love, that wants to teach, that wants to create. There's a very creative side of you that wants to kind of come out here, but there's also a very loving, nurturing side that wants to come out. It's almost like you've been dimmed in some way. You've, your light has been dimmed in some way. And you're starting to feel that passion again, right? And the wheel of fortune is here. So that means that things are going to start moving now. You could have an increase in, in finances as well with the wheel of fortune. But, but things are really beginning to move now. I, I think now that the wheel of fortune has come out here, um, that, that things have probably set into motion for you. Once you have these thoughts and once you say these words out loud, that can turn the wheel of fortune. That can get the wheel of fortune turning, even though it might squeak a little when it turns, because it hasn't maybe turned for you in a while, it's going to begin to turn. It really is. This is what causes the contrast in life. That which happens in life that, that is uncomfortable, that brings us a sense of wanting more, that brings us pain. These elements in life are what create change, are what bring in new elements for us that can be beautiful and glorious. And we see that you're on a, um, a track now um, score, uh, cancer of, of possibly attaining 
your your beautiful dreams and goals that you have had and that you have kept in your mind for a very long time and in your heart that there is now a new potential for achieving these with this wheel of fortune turning all right with the wheel of fortune turning okay uh, cancer i'm going to move over to vimeo now and look at what is going to happen in the next six weeks or so and um, for the rest of you who um don't want to move over to vimeo that's totally fine and i totally understand i will see you back out on youtube um, in another 10 days or so. So Cancer, I really wish you the best. I hope things continue to prove in this manner for you. And, and I, and I, and I know that you'll be able to find clarity around this. I really do. I see some really positive energies coming out here. Um, stay well. And, um, I, I wish you, um, strength and compassion, um, and warmth as you move through these, these next 10 days. All right. Thank you, Cancer.